Hey there, Pan friends. Welcome to the channel again. It's me, your host, Amy from Pan Venture, and I'm back from Italy. And uh, I want to show you my haul, everything that I've got over the time that I was in Italy. Did you guys miss me? It's been a week, a week and a few days, and uh, I'm back. I'm very happy. Everything worked out fine. And we've just finished going through the entire footage that we've recorded in Italy. And it's almost 20, 20 plus hours of uh, video footage. And we are going to have a little bit of time to edit some videos and to start posting. Anyway, I want to show you guys what I've managed to acquire while I was in Italy. Because you know me, being surrounded by so many people and uh, fountain pens, I couldn't help myself. So I want to show you a few details of Italy and what I've managed to bring back with me from Italy. And uh, I'm going to cheat a little bit because I have here a parcel from our friends at Stilo e Stile. So this is something that I've ordered recently because uh, while I was in Italy, I've seen a few samples of paper and I wanted to have some paper. So I managed to place down an order with Stilo e Stile over in Italy. So I want to leave the link for their website down below. Although I'm a retailer, I want to support people of this hobby and industry. And whenever I manage to find something that I don't have in stock, I will go and order it from different retailers which are going to appreciate, I hope so, this uh, way of uh, supporting each other. I haven't opened it till this moment. So let's see what we have inside. A little card and uh, we have here the address of the store, the website, the phone number. Very nice. Documents, invoices and stuff like this. And let's see what we have inside. I'm really, really excited. And let me remove everything. And then I'm gonna share with you guys. I'm gonna put the box away. And we have here some Hobo Nietzsche notebooks. And uh, this is something that I want to dive more into because uh, I've seen a few samples of this paper recently in Italy at uh, Leonardo of Cina Italiana and I do enjoy a lot this specific paper, the Tomo River paper, but I'm not even sure if these notebooks are using the old style Tomo River paper or the new style, but anyway, I love the Hobonichi brand, I love their products and uh, I wanted to have some paper from them. So we have two A5 notebooks and one A6. This is very cute. I'm gonna use this for my to-do list or stuff like this. And here we go with the Tech Planner 2022. So I do have a quest, which I've been following for the past few years. I wanna try to start at the beginning of the year, one Hobonichi Tech Planner, the small one, and I want to write down every single day something that I've learned in that specific date. I think this will be helpful for me to see actually when I'm done with that year, how many new things I've learned. This is what I'm having in mind for this Hobonichi Tech Planner 2020. One page per day, English language, January starts. So, Look forward for January because I'm going to put down a few of these pages on my IG. If I'm going to learn a new lesson, a saying, something that's interesting and uh, beneficial for me, probably it will be write it down in this Hobonichi Tech Planner 2020. So let's move further and see what we have here. I don't even remember what I've ordered. Here, but probably as soon as I'm gonna see it, I'm gonna remember. And whoo, yeah, yeah, now I remember. This is a Japanese brand, if I'm not mistaken, 
and uh, I want to see this paper in action. Yeah, made in Japan. Let's see how this is going to behave in fountain pen use. Hobonichi Tech 2020. I'm not sure how to spell out this names because this is the first time that I'm experimenting with Hobonichi and I hope I'm not going to offend anyone. I'm just trying myself to learn and to have a new setup for my daily journaling. So for my daily journaling, I like to use a A5 notebook in which I'm gonna write down pretty much every single day of the week. And I wanted to try this Hobonichi style of a notebook because I wanted to have a little bit of diversity into my uh, way of journaling. So this is in Japanese. I do hope they have something in English too, but I'm not even sure. At the end of the day, Probably this will motivate me to learn a few things in Japanese. Why not? This is what I've got from our friends at Stilo Estile. So if you guys are looking for paper, Hobonichi, and uh, much more interesting exotic paper choices, visit their website. And I'm going to leave the link down below. You can visit them. And uh, we will see this papers more often on our Instagram channel. I'm gonna try to incorporate a few pics of uh, this style of journaling and stuff like this. Also, I'm looking forward at experimenting with Hobonichi and maybe I'm gonna have a review soon to come on our YouTube channel and I wanna explain how does this paper behaves in comparison to my other choices, which was GLP, the other notebook that's available on our website. I don't know, um, other Tomoe River paper notebooks like uh, Endless Recorder. I've used some Gallon notebooks, again, Tomoe River paper. Let's see, who knows? Maybe uh, the true, true Japanese experience will be so impressive that I'm gonna share with you guys and uh, maybe it will make me choose Hobonichi from now on. So let's move to the most important items fountain pens. Yeah, I've got a few of them. So I want to show you guys what I've managed to bring home with me. And I have here one of the first ones. This is a Leonardo Officina Italiana Momento Magico. And it is made in this beautiful, beautiful resin, which is a Sherry Koi primary manipulation from Jonathan Brooks. And this fountain pen, it is an exclusive to Leonardo Officina Italiana. So if you're looking for such a pen, you can find it available on their website. I'm gonna leave a link down below. I'm fortunate enough to have such a strong relationship with the guys over at Leonardo Officina Italiana. So I had the privilege of traveling back home with this pen and it will be reviewed on our channel and uh, I'm going to show you how this nib is performing. This is an architect nib run from a steel Yovo broad nib by Mark Bacchus. And it has a red ebonite feed. I've tried this nib and uh, you guys are going to see it in action in the video review coming. The material, it is stunning. This beautiful, beautiful white chatoyant with gold sparkles and red sparkles. And when you combine the versatility of the Momento Magica collection, it can be taken apart, cleaned, and the nib can be replaced very easy. Everything, everything works so well on this model. So I am very, very excited to have this pen for a review. Of course, there is one more pen, which this is very, very special. And this is a pen that's going to make me have a very, very tough time deciding if it's going to be part of my personal collection or if it's going to be on the PenVenture website for sale. It is this Delta Gaius Julius Caesar. This is a beautiful, beautiful Delta pen made in 1999. And uh, 
I was only nine years old when this pen was made. What's so special about it? This trim is solid gold. Yeah, gold. So this is serviced and uh, it's a very, very beautiful, beautiful pen. So, so shiny, so, so beautiful. Everything inside is new, the sack. It is one of my favorite Delta pens. If I have to make a um, top of uh, models from Delta that I love, I'll put the Delta Roma Imperiale at number one. The number two will be the Dolce Vita made in uh, celluloid, the bigger ones with the size eight gold nib. And probably in third place would be Gaius Julius Caesar, which is this pen right here. I never imagined holding one in solid gold trim because they are available also in silver. But seeing it in person in gold trim, it is stunning and I love it. We will have a video review coming for this pen and probably by then I'm going to decide if it's going to be a personal piece of mine or if it's going to be available on the website for sale. So pretty much that's the entire haul that I've brought home with me from Italy, although the paper came uh, separately uh, via postal services because uh, it is uh, a little bit uh, heavy and uh, the volume, so I had to order it. I didn't have time to pass through Rome to take it when uh, I've came back, so I'm very, very happy to see it arriving so quick here. And pretty much that sums up this video. Down below, I will add the Momento Magico in uh, Sherry Koi Primary Manipulation to my personal collection list of pens. So if you want to have a broader understanding of my personal fountain pen collection, down below you will find the entire list of pens with the nibs that I own. It remains to be seen in the next few days. We are going to slowly go through the videos, edit them, and start to post some very, very interesting content. Expect wild things. We visited Monte Grappa, Stipula, Leonardo, Ficina Italiana. We've seen a lot of uh, interesting things and I am just simply very, very excited to go through, edit everything and post on our YouTube channel. If you want to support such an endeavor, down below you will find the details for the website, our social media accounts, my email, a phone number, and also if you want to give this video a big thumbs up, this will help me a lot with the algorithm to reach out to many more just like you and I. And if you're not subscribed to the Pen Venture YouTube channel, you can subscribe right now. Just click here and turn the notification bell on. And if you want to see more quality content from Pen Venture and myself, you have this video right here. Enjoy. My name is Emmy, and I'll see you next video. Take care, stay safe, bye bye.